All right, welcome back, guys. Um, we're gonna talk about our Black Friday sales. Well, my wife did all the Black Friday shopping. Mm -hmm. I will not go because I do not have the patience. Yeah, patience is a good word. Yeah, for the crowds. No, you really don't. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, well, why don't you explain to me your whole game plan leading up to Black Friday and, and... Okay, well, I don't know if you guys know, or maybe we've mentioned it before on the show, no. we do not have a PlayStation 4. Pro. But don't be too sad for us, because yeah. maybe we do now. We probably do now. We yeah. do now. Um, anyways, so I have been planning for months. We put away some money and I said, next time there's a sale, I'm going to get a PlayStation 4 Pro. Yes. Meanwhile, waiting for the, that sale to come up, I just kept thinking, there's got to be a way that I can get both for a really good deal. And I'll tell you, um, for any of our American viewers, or any of our, of our Canadian viewers that don't use the program. Uh, we have a program here with Superstore for PC Optimum Points. Superstore and Shoppers. shoppers and right. Shoppers. Yes. Uh, it originally started with Superstore. Shoppers okay. came on board, I think, about a year and a half ago, maybe, or so. Thankfully. Yes. yes. So anyways, I just kept thinking about these points and how, uh, due to my job, and I've I run a daycare and I spend a lot of money on groceries. I accumulate a lot of points. We have a PC MasterCard, which anytime you use it, you accumulate points, but you get more points when yes. you shop at those exactly specific stores. Exactly. Okay. So in the summer, when we had planned this, I was like, maybe I can save points and get, we also don't have a switch. Maybe I can get a switch too. Mm -hmm. So that was my plan. Well, Black Friday sales finally came out. I called every shoppers in town. Um, Superstore does not carry either one of those si systems. Yeah. And nobody had a switch left because the week before they had they a- They did what they called their, their Black Friday sale. Yes. But um, was it for both the PS4 yes. and the Switch? Yes. So if you purchased either one of those, you would get a $125 gift card. 125 for the Switch, 100, 100 for the PS4 Pro. Oh, is that how it works? Yes. Okay. So, our Shoppers Drug Marts, they don't carry a huge no. inventory of any Anything. electronics, really. Yeah. So, there's most of the time when you go in there, if there's two systems of each, that, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. That's exactly. That's the entire inventory. They don't have a big section. Yeah. So, that week, the week before Black Friday, they completely sold out. Mm -hmm. Almost everything. Yeah. I had toyed with the idea of getting the Switch, yes. using that $125, putting it towards the PS4 Pro, but in the meantime, I had seen the sales come out for Best Buy, yes. Walmart, The Source. Everybody in town was going to have the PS4 Pro for $369.99. Canadian. I, Canadian. <laughs> Canadian. So I'm like, no, that makes me a bit salty. Why would I use my $125 gift card towards a machine that was still full price at $4.99 Canadian? No, thank you. The deal, the sale deal was better. So I was like, no. And I just waited, hoping and praying that somebody would get a switch. So the night before Black Friday, poor little just got off work, not feeling the greatest, Scott, drove me to three different shoppers and we basically scouted, scouted and har not harassed yeah, employees, yeah, but I was like, question. what time do you open? Are you open earlier? Will you have a switch? What time do you yeah. get your inventory in in the morning? Because everybody got their yeah. trucks on Friday morning of yeah. all days to put well, out a sale. We we checked out three stores, was it? Yes. Well, actually one of them was closed. One of them was closed. Closed early. But I did call like but, yeah, you were, 10 different shoppers. You, yeah, you were calling everywhere. Uh, one place did have one PlayStation 4 Pro. Yes. But no Switches. Mm -hmm. And then we went to the other place and it had two PS4 Pros and no Switches. And no Switches. But they were expecting their shipment first thing in the morning before the doors opened. Yes. And that was the truth because while you were waiting, there were a bunch of trucks. Mm -hmm. So let me take you to the night before Black Friday. I laid in bed and I could not sleep. I got four and a half hours of sleep. 
I woke up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> he slept on the couch because he wasn't feeling good. Yeah. I was planning to get up for 6.30 to go there for 7. I woke up at 5.40. I got out of bed. I went to Walmart, got some stuff there, went back to shoppers. So I sat in the parking lot from 7 o'clock on and waited. At 7.20, one other guy parked four spaces down. He looked at me. I looked at him. He looked at me again. And I was like, I was here first. Who is that creepy? Girl? I, I was here <laughs> first. See me? I was here first. So we had a Mexican standoff, just the two of us. Do you even know what a Mexican standoff is? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not even sure what it is. So. <laughs> Either way, we had a standoff. It's probably for... racist now. So you might want to cut that out. Oh, we had a standoff. We had a standoff and Nobody else was there. An older lady pulled up. She got out of her vehicle. Must have thought shoppers was open because two cars were in the parking lot. She's like, oh, they don't open yet. She took off. Yeah. Then at about 20 to 8, everybody started showing up. I was so stressed out. My sister-in-law was talking to me on the phone. I had to let her go. I had my gloves on, my hat on, my jacket in my hand because it ready was Ready for war. Ready for war. And it was 7 51 nobody had gotten out of their vehicle yet and I'm like I need to get out I need to get out and go to the door so I got out and went to the door and everybody was standing as soon as I got out everybody got out everybody out yeah. and I made myself the ambassador of the group because I was just I was kind of chatting with two other women and they weren't there for a switch I kind of scouted that information out <laughs> so I don't yeah, know what was you're, going on yours kind of friends there you know what, what I friends. want there yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> Somebody was there for a switch light. Hated that person. Yeah, another lady didn't even realize anybody was standing in line for Black Friday. She was just like, I'm just here to pick up some stuff before I go on my trip. Yeah. So that was fine. We could be friends. The people across the other way kept inching closer to the door and I'm like, clearly I've started a line. You need to get behind me. I will go all USA Black Friday shopping on you. You need to, you need to be in the line. So anyways, when the lady came out to open the door, the exit door is closer to the electronics thing and it was opened. So I beelined for the exit, went right to the electronics counter. It's not very Canadian of you. I don't care. <laughs> Everybody else did it as soon as I did it. They're like, oh snap. Yeah, and I made sure to tell the people while we were outside, I've been here since seven o'clock. Yeah. So I'm like, back up. Back up. <laughs> back up. Exactly. So I went right to the electronics counter, hoping and praying there was a switch and there was two two switches yep. and I said to the guy this is verbatim I is that two switches you have he's like yes I'm like I will take a switch and a ps4 pro thank you and I put them on my little hands and I walk right. to the register let's let's just pop these up there yes 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 now yeah. it doesn't matter anyway we well, don't want to see you don't see uh, we don't want to see that either. Here. There. There. There you go. Can can we just like, you know, cover that up with something fun here? Real, because. For just for, for fun. For, for fun. Yeah, we're you Montreal Canadiens fans. I turn that around so I wouldn't offend other people. And we're on like a bad losing streak, so. Oh. All right. Anyway, I know like NHL is not like a great coveted game or whatever. But. We're going to talk numbers here yes we what are year? well let's bring out the switch also okay so we did end up picking up ps4 pro and, and switch switch yeah now this switch is at the front of the back i get my stuff it together doesn't here matter. i think it's all the same oh, eyelash am i oh make a wish I wish for more systems mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. next person. now i realize this this bundle is with the old and uh, nintendo switch that they haven't, uh, the battery life isn't quite as good as the new one. That doesn't really matter. Doesn't for really us. matter for no. us. We're mainly going to use it as a console. It's going to yeah. be docked most of the time. No big deal. Same with Mario Kart 8. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. No. Mario Kart in general. I have Maybe never played put, Mario Kart. in the Kart. booze. Booze. Uh, yeah. Booze. Mm. Sorry. So. Anyway, so just with these two systems. You tell us how you broke down your points. Okay, so regularly non-sale, these two systems are over $1,000. 
I will pop it Canadian. Some, yes, Canadian. I yeah. will pop it somewhere up here in the screen, the actual total. It's like... What? It's like... like $500 American. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. USDS. Yeah. No, no, it's not that bad, but yeah. So anyways, this was not on sale for the both. They would cost you over $1,000. I think it's $1,023, $1,025. Because you have crunched the numbers, but... I have. But the PS4 Pro was on sale for $369. Yes. So that would have brought it to 800 and some dollars um, with that sale reduction. But I got it because there was a points event that yes. when you shop at Superstore or Shoppers, you gain points. Um, every 100,000 points are equal to $100. 10,000 points is equal to $10, so on and so forth. Yes. So I ended up saving uh, two, 355 thousand points which is three hundred and fifty five dollars I used two hundred and fifty thousand points on this but because of the redemption event they bump your point value up my two hundred fifty thousand points were actually worth four hundred thousand points so I got this for sixty bucks sixty dollars Canadian Canadian steal of a deal I didn't get quite as good a deal on this because I only had X amount of points left. I was able to use 100,000 points. They bumped it up to 130,000. So I paid- an Extra $30. Yeah, yep. I paid uh, 295 on this. So if you do the math, it was $355. But I got 70,000 points back for my purchase on this, which actually made it 200, $85,000 or yeah, $285,000? Uh, $285. Uh, yeah. yeah, if you're counting points as money, but if you start counting points as money, then then you're like, well, calculating out what you used in points, then, you know, yes. the deal doesn't look that good. But if you save up your points all year long, it's like, mm -hmm. you can only use it at two places. You can go buy groceries or you can go to shoppers and they do have a small electronics section they do and they bump it up a little bit yeah. at christmas time which is good yes so the plan was to use the seventy thousand points and switch hands with grocery money basically because i could use those on groceries yep we didn't make it that far we went back out today and we picked up yeah boom Get the reflection uh do reflect there Yay! Perfect. This is a must have for us because we were big fans of the first one on the GameCube. Yep. Awesome game. And if anybody yeah. has seen a sneak peek, um, I'm not doing a Luigi's Mansion 3 nope. painting, but I am doing a Luigi's Mansion painting, so stay tuned for that. That'll yes. be a giveaway. We're going to do a couple of giveaways yep. in December. It's basically to hope, hopefully drum up a little bit more interest, maybe a few more subscribers, yeah. and to give back to our people that are subscribed now and exactly. been following us. Exactly. So, we really, yeah. really appreciate that. Yeah. We do it for fun, but it it's always, uh, like, I don't know a YouTuber out there that doesn't go, it doesn't really matter to me, the numbers. No, it does. It means, it's like a validation yeah. of what you're doing is, catches people in, is people's interest they, yes. they enjoy what you're doing yeah. so we hope you enjoy it if you're watching obviously can, can I mention something for you can get? this cover or box is um, this is the old Nintendo switch I do have a picture I have two ways of yeah figuring out the difference if, know. you know for the new one which mm -hmm. has a better battery life so if you're gonna do shopping you know it's past Black Friday but there may be other sales coming up and you want the switch with the better uh, battery life we're gonna pop it up how you can tell the difference exactly so. that's a good yep good idea and we got one more little goodie mm -hmm. one more little goodie a boom a boom these were yep. pretty much everywhere they're but a sale everywhere they were the regular uh 74.99 canadian mm -hmm. and everybody had them on for 49.99 so, I mean, you don't want to play alone. That's sad. Okay. Unless I'm, you're playing a game your wife doesn't I'm, want to play, and then you can play it alone. Like a couple of us. Yeah. <laughs> we also Always ordered better. a game, too, yes. from Best Buy. Yes. Uh, God of War God was of War. $9.99. $9.99 Canadian. Yep. Yeah. And because yep. they didn't have any in-store, another sweet tip for anybody out there that doesn't want to have to pay for shipping. 
if you go into Best Buy and you order from Best Buy, they will ship to your door, to your door for free. Free shipping. Yes. yes. So that was worth it. We want yeah. it. A couple days later, we'll have a game. It's awesome. Exactly. Great. Exactly. I don't have a whole lot of games yet for the PlayStation uh, 4, but uh, I do have three or four right now. Yeah. Three or four of them. And we also have... We're picking up a couple of cheap ones here. The and Last there. of Us 2 on pre-order. Yeah, we do. That yeah. one's not coming out until... It was originally coming out in... February. Was it February? February. And then now And now it's, it's been delayed till May and it just dying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's my but favorite game. it'll be... It'll be good when it yeah. comes out. Great. Um... Well, I can't wait to see what you do next but Friday next well, year. Well, you know... The uh, PS5 five. is coming out and Xbox <laughs> Scarlet, so I mean, yeah. we'll see how many groceries I can buy. and just, Groceries, gas, all that yeah, stuff. And all everything the adds up. you got to buy it anyway. Exactly. And what I had intentionally done for anybody who's like, well, yeah, if you want to spend a ton of money on groceries and get a lot of points, you're really not saving any money because you're going crazy. I didn't buy anything. I Nothing wanted to extra. do this legitimately. Yeah. I didn't buy anything out of the ordinary that I wouldn't buy. I just let my points accumulate as they How would. How long were you saving your points? I buy a lot of money in groceries, so this is not really... It's not going to translate were, for everyone. Yeah, I know, but you were using a lot of points. Like, yeah. let's say you start saving your points... January 1st. January 1st. Let's say January 1st. Yeah. By next year, next Black Friday sales, what do you estimate you think your points are going to be at well they i had started saving it for this in august i do believe i think this only came to me in august that i was like wait hold on there yeah, so you had around three hundred fifty thousand points which was about 350 dollars of the points yeah and then we waited for an event to get more value for your points. that's three months worth of points for me yeah times i could save yeah. Like we buy a lot of groceries. 1400 And I buy my gas. We run two vehicles. Mm -hmm. You know. And I basically, I just, I go anywhere I go, I pay with my credit card, I get the points, and then we pay the bill right off. Yeah. Like, and, you know, so there's no interest accumulated, and you're just getting free money for it. And then if you have a fun hobby that you can use those points on, then great. Yeah. And I'm sure there's people out there that are saying, I can't afford this. Like, I can't do this. Yeah. We are not, like, super wealthy people by any stretch of the imagination, but we're really good uh, savers, frugal shoppers. Yeah. We, we try to look for deals. Yes. And we do a lot of stuff on our own, too. So we save a lot of money. Yeah. We're just, I think we're... We're, we're, we're awesome. We're awesome! <laughs> we're if you awesome. agree, and if you agree... <laughs> if you agree, then well, subscribe. <laughs> then subscribe! Like! Comment! Ring the notification bell! There you you can see some more awesomeness! Yeah, yeah. ring that notification bell, because we put out videos every Tuesday and Friday. Yep. So, till next Tuesday or Friday. I don't know when this is coming out. Tuesday. This is coming out Tuesday? This is coming out Tuesday. So, till Friday. Yeah. I'll see you Friday. See you Friday.